okay let's continue uh, so what I have created what I have done is I have selected the high poly version sit and right click to select the low poly version too okay we can see that both of them are selected the important thing is to select first the high poly version and after that the low poly version uh, having done this I'm going to uh, my render panel and I open this tab the bake tab what I'm going to select now is I'm going to select normals from the bake mode menu and I'm going to tick select it to active and then press bake okay so we have seen this uh, that this uh, normal map has been baked uh, this uh, image contains all the image all the info that is needed in order to create uh, the illusion of uh, height so we are going to texture our low poly mesh uh, with this image and see what the result will be okay I'm selecting my low poly version and I'm placing it again at the left okay in order to make the normal map work first of all make sure that you are in GLSL material mode okay and then go to materials pane okay create a new material I will name it stone floor low okay and then go to the textures panel and create a new texture I will name it stone floor low normal okay and then I will change the type to image or movie in mapping I will select UV and here I'm going to select my image okay let me change the shading to texture okay and my lamp I want to better enhance mine okay so in order we can see clearly the result of our actions okay now that I have applied the texture I can see that uh, I have no difference I have a strange alien <laughs> floor instead of a medieval one and that's why uh, my normal map uh, is being used as a simple color map I want to change that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my low poly version and go to textures panel uh, first in image sublink uh, activate the normal the normal map option and then in influence uh, tab uh, untick the color option and tick the normal option so now my normal map is used as a normal map and we can see that it has created the illusion it has created the illusion of height uh, looking from above we can see that uh, there are minor differences between those two uh, versions and uh, the illusion of uh, height uh, works uh, successfully but uh, if I go horizontally we can see that the effect starts to diminish just compare this version with this here okay for a game it might suffice but we may want something with a little bit more detail so we are going to create another version uh, with a slightly more faces significantly more faces it will be a mid poly version and you can alternatively use uh, this one 
okay so I will go here and then enter the edit mode okay now that I I'm in edit mode uh, if I don't make any changes uh, we see that the top uh, faces are selected I'm going to save uh, those uh, vertices in a vertex group a new vertex group I'm going to name it tiles top press assign don't forget to press assign I'm going to check by pressing deselect and select that the vertex group is saved okay I'm selecting them I'm going to press alt s and I'm going to shrink uh, to shrink uh, a little bit more than I did with the original mesh and then I'm going to add my subdivision surface modifier okay okay I can uh, make sure that the height of the low poly version uh, will be about the same with the height of the uh, the height of the low poly version of the mid poly version will be about the same with the height of the high poly version okay and press I have pressed smooth okay so we have come up with this result uh, we see that there is some uh, height in this mesh poly count is on 670 faces okay I'm not saying that uh, this is uh, low poly but compared to the 20k to the 20k and more and above uh, faces of the original it's a significantly lower uh, number of faces so what I'm going to do is what I did with my previous version let me apply no, I'm not going to apply it yet. Uh, what I did with my low poly version, I will do the same here. Go to edit mode, create a new image. I will name it normal mid or mid poly version. Okay. And I'm going to select. Okay, I better apply this one okay now okay something happened because I have almost 3k faces no I don't want it so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the subsurf modifier I'm going to leave it as it is but I'm going to reselect my tile stop vertex group and I will scale significantly alt, alt s I will shrink not scale okay but here go to front view press 5 for ortho view ortho perspective and rise a bit until both mid poly and high poly versions have the same height okay now without have a problem here let me fix it I don't know what caused it probably the scale probably this let me fix it a bit all right okay okay now I didn't use even I didn't even use a, a modifier here problem is that, that I have some problems here when I shrunk so you have to be a little careful and make some uh, editing in order to fix all these uh, problematic areas but I'm leaving it 
for now as it is okay what I'm going to do now is I'm I will go to edit mode select all my vertices select my normal mid map and I'm going to UV unrop project from you bounce okay so my mesh is unropped here in the normal mid uh, image and again I'm selecting the high poly version press shift s cursor is still selected in order to place my cursor where the center of my high poly version is select the mid poly version and press shift s and selection to cursor ok now select the high poly version and shift and right click to select the mid poly version too go to bake mode in rendel settings go to bake panel make sure that normals is selected and selected to active is uh, activated too and press bake ok our normal map is created ok there are some problematic areas here and here uh, but as I said as I have said uh, you have to Uh, make some alterations and some editing uh, in areas that uh, uh, the vertices uh, uh, have uh, are overlapping each other ok now I'm going to select the mid poly version and create a new material which will be named stone floor mid and I'm going to add another texture stone floor mid normal type select type image or movie change ma mapping to UV select the normal mid map Tick color and select normal. Okay. Uh, okay, something went wrong. Maybe I must apply normal map image sublink. No. Okay. Then maybe I have to save the normal mid image. Save as image. I will name it normal mid. Probably that was the problem we will see let's hope it works and I'm going to the texture panel and I'm going to reload okay yes that was the problem okay what have we got now okay let's see this is our original mesh and this is our mid poly version which as we have said consists of 670 faces uh, what we see now that we have kept some of the original height info and we have applied the normal map in order to create uh, some extra illusion of, uh, of height and of roundness of course because if I'm going to deactivate my normal map you can see that the result uh, reminds in nothing uh, the original and now see if I activate the normal map uh, what uh, difference the normal map makes so what we have here is a version that uh, can effectively be used uh, in a game it is mid poly it has retained uh, much of the detail of the original on the other hand this version is uh, much uh, more uh, vertex friendly it has only 
45 phases but uh, we can see that the illusion of uh, uh, the height uh, is not as striking as in this one so what you have to do is you have to select what suits more to your needs uh, and uh, of course always uh, have in mind that uh, in areas that uh, are not so close to the player view you don't have to use uh, meshes with a large detail so uh, this sums it all you have your options all you have to do is create a normal map and apply it the difference is that with this mesh uh, we have uh, used we have just extruded the main tiles and we have shrunk uh, significantly more than we had with this uh, with the original compared to the original mesh we have applied our normal map and we can see that the result is a decent one so this concludes my first tutorial on how to create a low poly medieval tileable stone floor so uh, I'm uh, you are free to ask everything you want and of course to make your suggestions in the comments below okay until the next time have fun and keep practicing with blender thanks for thank you for watching